Here's your latest headlines with Sierra Tufts from the Wayne.com studio. Good morning and thank you for joining us. It is Wednesday, July 17th. Here are your morning headlines. Fort Wayne City Council gave a multi-million dollar expenditure a due pass recommendation. That money would go to the local nonprofit, nonprofit, excuse me, Bright Point, who in turn would give out the money as a small business loan. These small business loans would be offered to entrepreneurs who don't qualify for traditional loans from banks. In addition, the money once paid back will be given out again as another loan. Continuing the cycle to the city's money to many small business owners. Gubernatorial candidate Jennifer McCormick is holding a town hall on reproductive rights tonight at the Allen County Public Library. The Allen County Democratic Women's Club is hosting McCormick to provide the community an opportunity to hear where McCormick stands on issues regarding reproductive rights. The town hall will be at the main branch of the ACPL and start at 7 p.m. and end at 8. Community members will be allowed to submit questions from McCormick to answer. If you drive through the intersection of West State Boulevard and Sherman Boulevards, be prepared to slow down this morning. The City of Fort Wayne says a new traffic signal will be installed between now and 11 a.m. There will be no detour, so the traffic signal will be out while the work takes place. Coming up later today, we're, gonna, we're going to learn more about the 2025 air show. I apologize for that typo on the screen right now. Plus, today is Fort Wayne Community Schools Day of Caring. We'll learn about the improvements that community members and teachers themselves are making to the schools. Plus, Powers at Electric Works. Today is the big day. The once famous, always famous downtown establishment has expanded to another location. We'll check in with them on how that's going. And taking a look at that weather forecast, we do have a chance to see some isolated storms this morning. Our humidity will start to fall throughout the day, plus we will see some cooler air real soon. And looking at Storm Tracker right now, you can see a little bit of a system off to the southwest, not going to impact us. However, we could see that chance of isolated storms this morning, small chances. Also, you can see how widespread that is right now. So even if we do see anything, it's not going to be across the entire area and not going to be guaranteed. Looking at that hourly planner, you can see those small chances continue until we hit around lunchtime. High temperatures today only reaching the lower 80s. We see winds out of the north northwest from about 5 to 10 miles per hour. We are cloudy this morning, but we'll start to see some more sunshine later on in the afternoon once those storm chances start to dwindle. Give you a look at Parkview Field, you can see a little bit of gray skies there, but also that peak of sunshine. We can see a nice morning for us so far. Again, that humidity staying around for the the time being, but it will start to fall throughout the day. Give me a look at that exclusive 10 day forecast. Again, high temperatures today, lower 80s. You can see that storm chances are small today and it is mostly for the morning hours. As we head into tomorrow, temperatures dropping into the mid 70s, a lot cooler for us, and we will feel that relief from humidity as well. By Friday, we reached the upper 70s, and by the time we hit the weekend, we're back into the 80s, mostly cloudy and sunny skies for the weekend until we hit next week when we see another chance to see some showers and storms, but 80s pretty much on the menu for the entire rest of the week beyond tomorrow, which we will be our coolest day of the week. So not too bad for us at all. We'll see you back here at noon. We'll also see you during the news at noon. In the meantime, have a good morning.